the teachers, but especially the game staff. Yeah, and the gap students. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to miss the teachers and all my friends that aren't going to be so school. Okay, what's your best memory then? Uh, my best memory is when, um, for 800 metres, I beat the school record for girls. All the teachers um, and sports and all our different lessons and most of all all my friends because some of them aren't going to the school that I'm going to so I'm going to miss my friends quite a bit. I'm glad the teachers are all there for you when you need them and I'm going to miss all my friends that are going to different schools. Um, and I'm going to miss Katie Hooper because she's going to Australia. I'm going to miss... Um Mainly just the environment here, because I, I haven't been here as long as those, so I've only been here for, since year two, but I've learnt a lot from here and it's going to be... It will be easier, I'd say, for me, because I'm only going to the grammar, so I, I was probably going to miss everything about it, um, because I've been here since reception, um, and I've... I think I've learnt a lot on the way and I, I, I think I've done quite a There's not as much homework at RSM than at the grammar. Um, small amount of homework and the teachers because they're really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed just going on bushcraft a few weeks ago. That was just so fun. Oh. Um, well, <laughs> all the teachers are all like really supportive. They're really funny and like if you're worried about something, they'll talk to you about it. <laughs> When I was younger and like reception, we always used to rush back from swimming because we always wanted to see the um, caretakers change the bin bags. I don't know why, we always used to get really excited and just like really excited to watch them change the bin. <laughs> going on the Holland tour. I'm going to... Memory was getting the year five girls record for 600 metres. Um, when I was in the bottom bunk and Belle was in the top bunk and she was getting a drink and she spilled water all over my head and I was like, I got really wet so I had to go and like, go to the it toilet the and dry my face. It was in the middle of the night and I was fast asleep when it happened. Then, when we were in reception, very funny, we used to follow Mr Ritchie change the bins and we were so um, amused by how he was putting the bins into his trolley. So, <laughs> yeah, that was probably my funniest and embarrassing as well. It's probably when Mr. Hollands fell asleep on the French trip disco. <laughs> it was really funny. He started snoring. It was on the French trip when um, Natasha was on the ladder and she fell um, on the top bank and she fell off and she had a big pot of Tic Tacs and the only thing she was worried about was her Tic Tacs spilling on the floor and she wasn't worried about herself. Well we went up from dinner and we went into our bathroom and the, it was flooded and we opened the door and like loads of water gushed out because <laughs> Benjamin had left the bidet on. <laughs> I didn't! Yes, he ben. did! We made this ride up on the tree over there called the orangutan and um, it was quite famous actually, quite a few people came on and off it. So I was doing a demonstration on how to do it. You basically had to swing off a branch and land on the floor. I swung off the branch and the branch snapped <laughs> and I fell into the, the bush below. I was in Holland as well. Basically on the first day um, we thought we'd check out the shower. <laughs> And so I switched it on, but it was one of those ones that you turn. So I switched it on, and we went on full power, and it was just soaking me. And I didn't know what to do because I was fully clothed. Um, probably the French trip because um, that was a really good way to learn whilst having fun. Oh yeah, Mr. Holland's when he gets angry is very funny. She's like, <sighs> and he goes bright red, <laughs> like a tomato. Rounders Club. Oh yeah. And that was so funny because they didn't even tell us that we were going to have a water fight. All the teachers just. Started, loads of bottles yeah, down. Yeah, we like, started throwing water at us and we were like, ah. <laughs> Yeah, and... Say a special thank you to um, Mrs Friend for encouraging me um, on my art scholarship. Yeah. Mr Austin for the football. Yeah, Mr Austin. Mr Forsyth. And Mr Sloan. Yeah, Mr Sloan. And Mr Schaefer. And the teachers are in I really like Mr. Sumter. He always helps me when in games when 
and we were doing football, he was always helping me. I would like to say like thank you to all the teachers I've um, met and who have taught me all different new things. Because um, um, without the teachers, you wouldn't you wouldn't learn as much as you do. And the teachers here are so enthusiastic and help you to learn in a fun way. Same. I used to be very bad at maths. I never got my super one for four until now, and that was from the help of Mrs. Harper. No one in particular, but definitely all the teachers because they've all really helped me. Williams, because whenever it, anything out of school that you can't do to do with IT, he'll always help you. And yeah, big thank you to Mr. Tobin and becoming a prefect, really. Yeah. I really like Mrs. Beglum because she's made me like English when before I wasn't really very interested. I really like Mrs. Harper because she always supports me through my maths lessons and helps me to learn and do new sums. Joining the choir in the first place, I never really imagined myself to be in a choir of that standard and to be in it's just like one in a lifetime opportunity. And getting into the grammar as well. So, <laughs> probably getting an academic scholarship. Becoming a prefect. My, my nerves quite a lot because I used to be, every time I went up on stage, I used to be like, <laughs> but my heart, was, my, my heart was like going so quickly, I know, and I was so nervous. Now, it was like, it was in the um, soiree. I said, Mr. Fielder said all those nice things about me and then sort of everyone clapped me at the beginning and I, I didn't feel nervous and that's sort of, I've overcome that in this few, few weeks before now and okay. it's sort of been really good. Now I'm happy to, so I've, for example, I've now gone into the, the poetry competition. I, I would have said no to that last year, but now I've said yes to it this year. That's right. Yeah, and I'm um, being a chorister and um, Mr Tobin's really helped us throughout the year and he's going to leave this year so thank you to him. Captaincy or my cricket captaincy because I really enjoy my cricket and to be able to be a captain of two year groups is pretty like, um, I forgot the word but it's like really nice to have that boy because yeah, I, that's really kind of changed me and I think that was, I, I, I've really enjoyed the whole year and I miss being a boy. Um, becoming a prefect and helping with kindergarten because um, prefect to do responsibilities and kindergarten to help out the little children and like teach them. Moldy. Oh my other one would probably be don't give up on my like most valuable thing that I've done. There's more, um, I don't think of younger ones, like, because they can't do things as quickly as you, or people have disabilities. Um, never stand by the bush when you're playing football with year sixes, they might push you in. Yeah, because that's just too valuable to be true. I can't think that happens at the glamour actually. Oh, it's right. like a bush push thing. There's yeah. no bushes at the glamour. Yeah, there is, right. just outside right. the main gate thing patient because you have to be patient and wait for things you can't have them immediately because um if you don't respect other people then they won't respect you back which means um that if you do something that's good they won't say well done because they're not respecting you well, the camera, um, you sort of have to work to get something you can't just be given it so you're kind of I think this I think our teachers have been really good examples to us because they respect everyone and they deal with us really well and um, uh, we we kind of followed them from them and learned how to respect, respect other people. And so it's probably helping with kindergarten because I've learned that little children need a bit more like care than older children. Mm. I think mine's teamwork from climbing Mount Snowden because we helped each other all the way and I was really happy when we um, achieved something and went to the top. Um, how to look after the little children from green sheets. <laughs> yeah, mine's the same as Emily. Looking after the other kids in the choir, the younger ones, setting an example.
and like making making points. I'd say we've been really mature and supportive as a year to the younger people and help them and yeah I hope they do the same to their youngers here. Henry, what are the values you think you've learned? Um, uh, um, I think uh, the value I've learned this year is probably teamwork because um, I really enjoyed climbing Snowdon and I think that value covers what we did there. Work just um, and just because I overcame my fear of um, of um, heights when I was uh, climbing Snowdon. Team. You're going to make school? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think probably teamwork is one of the one of the best values we've learned because as a choir in the choir as well we all work as a team and it's like in sport as well we all work as a team but to it like anything from rugby training to maths just like you don't work hard then your results aren't as good